Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video in Ubuntu Basics about screencasting and I'm talking about a brand new program that came out yesterday in English called Screencastor with an O. It's a French program. The program has been available in French but yesterday the English version came out. Right now this video that I am making is using FFmpeg and you can see the terminal running and when you open up the text file it asks you whether to run in the terminal which I'm doing over here or you can just display the program and I'm opening up the program and you can see what's running this is the text up here in black that is actually recording the screen and the blue is uh, commented out and this is difficult to use because you have to change the settings uh, by hand. Well, this program does the same thing, but it is a GUI. It is a graphical user interface. And I've got it located in the Ubuntu Software Center. And I'm going to open that up right now and show you what it looks like there. I go to sound and video and now I'm going down to screencastor and as you can see it is uh, in French it has the O and it says screencast audio and video with FFmpeg I'm going to right click and put him put the little icon over here I'm trying. Ah, there we are. Now, he is a French chupacabra, or in Texas we just call him a woolly booger. I think he's a beaver, but I'm not sure. When you click on him, the program comes up, and it is a beautiful interface. The guy that has put it out goes by the nom de plume Hizoka, which sounds like a Japanese manga character. I have never corresponded with him. I am unable to speak French or read and write French and this was very difficult to obtain. And as I say, the program just came out yesterday in French. The old program was in French only and they just added English and it's very self-explanatory. You've got the video business and you can record without video. You've got the audio business and if you want to you can record your screen without audio. And then this is the output file where you can tell it where to put the recorded thing and you can also tell it what kind of video extension to put on it. I'm using MKV. You can delay the capture uh, 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 by as many number of seconds as you want to. Now this is delay before the capture and this is delay of the capture. And then here you want to save the options that you changed. You want to put an icon in the system tray. When you hit that, the little woolly booger shows up in your system tray. You can see him up there. You want to click this here so that when you record the little icon up here, he is in a flashing state. Down here, this is what the very, very complicated terminal looks like as you change the parameters. The parameters that you will be changing in the main will be the three kinds of codecs and how many frames a second do you want to capture? Down here I've got seven 
frames a second that this will be capturing. Now here I've changed it to 8. You can, you can watch it change as I increment the numbers. And FFmpeg will capture anything from one frame a second up to 60. The other things that you can change are quite complicated and intricate. And I myself am not educated enough to tell you what all of these things are. You can do fixed flow versus variable flow. Honestly, I do not know what that means. Down here where it says multi-threads, I don't know what that means. I don't know what key images or deblocking filter or frame prediction means. I do not know those things. Down here, this captures your entire screen. My screen is 13. 66 across by 768 down. However, you can just grab a window, any window, and as soon as you turn this into a plus, you take the plus and you can grab, say, this window. And that this window is 600 by 450. Or, for example, let's pick this window. That window is, it says 80 by 22. The other thing you can do is define a portion by just putting it up to any part of your screen that you want to. And when you hit apply, it will record only that size. If you want to get the whole screen again, you can say select a window and then just grab somewhere on your screen. If you use this program, you may be disappointed at first because it's difficult to install. And when you try to record and you hit record, uh oh, look what happened could not open X display. Well, there's something wrong. See, you've got to fix that. Let's try capturing just the audio. Okay, I'm going to hit record and let's see what's cooking. I've got a, yeah, there it is right there. That's the OGG file that is uh, coming up. Let's see what. I'm going to stop recording. You can see the little woolly booger blinking. I'm going to right click him and hit stop. Now, this file. I don't know if you can hear that. I can hear that in my headphone. Well, anyway, this is a very, very good program. Uh, you may have extreme difficulty installing it. You cannot go just to the Ubuntu Software Center. You've got to go. Uh, you've got to go to the website and when you go to the website uh, you'll have to figure out how to install it yourself there I can't help you you're uh, you're working in the dark so to speak because it's not in English and also it may not come out exactly I would like to go to the French website and see if I can get some help from somebody there who would be willing to do so and also who speaks English. As soon as this program becomes prominent in the United States, I think most people would begin using this program in Linux Ubuntu rather than any other screencasting software. The other ones out there uh, work sorta kinda, but this is just beautiful. This is the 
best looking interface I've ever seen. It looks thorough and complete. Uh, I can't think of anything that you could want to do more with this other than something that FFmpeg cannot do and that would be to pause a recording. So far there is no way to do that. Uh, I have got nothing else to say on this. Once I get this thing working good, I will make another video. My name is Pop. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much.